Hi and welcome, it's Jim from Avstar. I uh, wanted to talk about the pins on the map that we've got at Google Earth uh, and what we regularly show you, starting from the beginning, of when it, about 120 odd years ago, when the poles started to first migrate. Um, we got all the coordination uh, information, all, so all these plots and pins we got from NOAA. But the problem is with NOAA is um, they stopped in 2015 um, you know, readily uh, advertising the longitude and latitude of the magnetic North Pole. And in 2015, that was their last one. And that was one of the reasons why, you know, we at the observatory um, started to investigate whether we could get a company uh, to build, you know, the a TriMag system for us. Well, if you've been following us for about five, six years, you'll know that companies was asking, you know, ridiculous amounts of money you know it would have been over a hundred thousand pound to get a company to design program and build you know a trimax system for us and it was completely unobtainable so we spent the next two years building one ourselves and if you remember it was a massive learning curve for me because i had to teach myself programming but you know we have a working trimax system that gives us the positioning of the magnetic north pole and we do that twice a month for you guys now and we've also brought it back to youtube so that no one uh goes without the information of the mag of the whereabouts of the magnetic north pole um now you'll remember um the 40 degree mark was based off an experiment that we done when uh, we rotated a magnet near or within the vicinity of a compass. We saw it flip when it got to 40 degrees and it repeatedly, you know, done that every time the magnet went round, giving us an idea that something could possibly happen when the magnetic North Pole finally does arrive at 40 degrees. And of course, it was predicted two years ago. Now, uh, the beginning of 2023, if you remember, uh, was roughly when we passed um or was it the beginning of this year I'm not sure i think it was the beginning of this year we surpassed the 40 degree mark no actually it was 2023 we passed it and um you know at that point when it was arriving at the 40 degree mark was the same time where professors at various universities around the world was stating that the core of our earth was slowing down could possibly stop and may even reverse and that really, apart from the um, le you know the annual um, update that NOAA does, which they use a map, is the only way uh, they give some indication as to where the magnetic north pole is. And it's never uh, since 2015 they've never given the longitude and latitude like we do. So we are, as far as I'm aware, at this observatory, the only ones pinpointing at the current time. The location of the magnetic north pole so you know we're we are pretty unique in that respect but we also because we had the, had gained the knowledge of programming electronics and building electronics you know decided to build a few other things for you guys like we've got some magnetometers still out around uh, America there's one in Arizona I believe Scott is still got his um, he doesn't send the data because we're no longer on um, Skype anymore, but I believe he's still got the machine running. Um, we haven't had any data from Scott for quite a while, but um, you know, at some point I will get on the phone and have a chat with him and see if he's got any data for us. Um, we have got Kendall in Canada, and it's a good job we have got Kendall because he's in one of the regions of our Earth where the magnetic field is weakening over that that, that bloomed area when we look at the other map. Um, and the reason for that is, is because it's weakening, the pole is migrating, it's not an actual pole as such, it's just where your compass is pointing at the moment in between the two bulges or the two high intensities over the northern hemisphere, one being in Canada which is weakening and the other being in um, Russia which is in intensifying. So every two, two, uh, two weeks roughly uh, we give the latest magnetic pole position and we show you guys and we share the longitude and latitude with you so that you can on your own google maps pinpoint it why is it important 
People ask me all the time, what can we expect when the poles do finally flip? Well, we can expect the magnetosphere to rapidly uh, reduce in intensity. And that means our protective field will decline, uh, allowing more radiation in. Uh, we could expect to see, you know, uh, climatic changes on a, a massive scale. And um, also we could see across the range of species on our planet, uh, cancer rates increase. So for more than one reason, the magnetic North Pole is very important to us. You know, it protects us from, um, you know, solar radiation, uh, inbound uh, solar system radiation from the galaxy and other galaxies. And um, it's very critical for life on Earth. If we never had a magnetosphere, it would be unlikely that we would have an atmosphere and we very likely wouldn't have any water on our planet. It would look a lot like Mars does now. And the thing is, Mars probably looks like it does now because at some point it lost its magnetosphere. And then in turn, you know, not only was the atmosphere stripped away, but also all the water that was on its surface. And we know there was water on the surface because if you look at those like veiny like marks on the terraform, we know that that has been caused through thousands and thousands of years of erosion. So water was flowing along those rivers on Mars at some point, but there no longer is any water that we know of on the surface. There may be pockets of water in certain regions still on Mars in what could be described similar to what we have here uh, in the deep Sartre, but you know, it's not been detected yet as, as of yet. Uh, there is uh, on the uh, poles where the uh, cooler climate is, there is probably water trapped uh, in a very small amount in the form of ice on there. But, you know, getting back to how important our magnetosphere is, it's very critical for life. If we didn't have it, you know, there wouldn't be any life on this on this planet. <coughs> so, um, if you are interested in helping support us here at the observatory, it is not mandatory, by the way, but obviously there is costs involved. We have got a, you know, a huge cost coming up at some point this year when we renew our website uh, fees, usually around about five, six hundred pound, that is, and that will last for another five years. Um, but, you know, at the moment we don't have that money. It's, you know, and, you know, we have suffered uh, since October because of the cost of living crisis globally now, um, you know, a, a loss of funds. Uh, at a great level really um, so you know it really would be appreciated if we could just encourage a few more people just to you know help chip in a few books here and there and um, you know we can continue the business of informing you where the magnetic north pole is and keeping you up to date with twice a week reports sorry twice a month reports on the latest position so a big thank you to those few that do uh, support us you know, um, I'd like to encourage a few more to come along and help support us. Um, and, uh, you know, you can do that by the link down there in the description. You can either become a patron or you can make a one-off payment on Patre uh, PayPal. It's entirely up to you guys. But the important thing is, is that you do support us, especially at this time, because funds are already low during, you know, the cost of living crisis. So, you know, um, we'll be back within a another week or so just a little bit longer than a week with the next latest magnetic pole position please join us for that and uh, i'll say what i usually do link down there in the description as always take care of your loved ones bye for now